Hi everybody, Beyond Frustrated here. My TENS machine just seems to have busted. It, it won't, can't get any power to it, and its reading is charged and everything. And it has worked a bit in the past, um, although it electrified me a bit too much. After one treatment, I was like kind of smelling paint fumes uh, for a couple of hours. Um, not that I was smelling paint fumes, but that feeling that one has from smelling paint fumes, I guess. So, and this is like one of my last attempts uh, uh, amongst uh, very lengthy uh, and unhelpful uh, series of treatments the last 18 years for what I supposedly have neurogenic bladder. Uh, real quick, for those of you that don't follow these often, even though I seem to be talking about it more and more, I, I fell out once with a good good friend a couple of years ago he says uh oh man you're always talking about that and i was like yeah motherfucker i'm always living with it it's like constantly having a urinary tract infection so i pee 22 times a day um it, if i don't get those frequent pees in time like say if it's held in for 10 minutes too long i'm extra extra sore and dysfunctional for anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days. Uh, it's harder to do in social situations. Uh, when I have things to do, it's harder. Uh, doing sh comedy shows over the years has been hell um, because, you know, just to like be present and try to watch a show, um, it's it's going to aggravate it. And then, so I've, I've never really been able to hang out and make friends and network. Um, it's been very unfortunate. You know, I can be that little few minutes on stage. So what, what that has ultimately led me to, like, giving up on that because I, I, I can't, I'm not well enough to do um, networking necessary. So I've, I've gone into business completely for myself and just done uh, shows on my own or with the help of close friends, just trying to, like, create my own brand of stand-up and poetry, which in, 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 in many respects has been more fulfilling, but it sure would be nice to have that option on the table, right? Um, uh, but so um, I've tried pills with no help. Uh, catheters don't work. I was just in for a cystoscopy, uh, if I'm saying that right. And cystoscopy, please help me pee better. Um, they found nothing in the scope. This has been done several years ago, several years. Uh, but they didn't find nothing then. I agreed to do it again because you never know. There could be scar tissue now with all this trouble that I've had. And uh, it just, it, it's not working. Um, like it, it didn't yield anything. And right there, I once again, for like probably maybe the 12th time in my life, I've had a catheter in because um, the urologist offered to drain me. I, I couldn't get a full pee with the pressure on at the office, right? So uh, she drains me. I said, you drained me? Said, oh, yeah. I said, I don't think so. Um, she said, no, I did. Uh, didn't I go and have a full pee not five minutes later after catheter? So, like, I'm not, I'm not doing them. Like, it, it's a waste of time, and nobody wants a catheter in them, but Jesus, I'd entertain it if it worked. But now, so my only chance, this TENS machine is cacked out. I get no power on it. So not only am I not smelling paint fumes uh, feeling, I am not getting any power to it. It's busted after like four uses. And again, this is no guarantee this is going to help me. So, but, um, and you know, despite events in my life the last two months, I'm overall, I'm doing pretty good, all things considered, you know. Um, I've had a good life. One of the things that is really troubling me the last two months with the piece specifically is uh, they're cutting off, like before they're finished. And I, I don't know if you guys see the Trailer Park Boys um, when they're doing schemes and stuff as a joke. Uh, somebody's too long taking a piss, and I think it's Ricky's. God, God damn it, you know, cut your piss off. Well, in my case, uh, my pisses are cutting off on me before I'm finished with them, and, and that leads from, you know, frequency instead of every half an hour, you're going every 10, 15 minutes trying to get that troublesome pee out, and I can feel it kind of rolling up my back, uh, probably to the kidneys, and this is the kind of thing 
that potentially at least could kill a person, right? So I wanted to make this, you know, in case, in case, like I'm, all things considered, I'm very, very frustrated, very annoyed. I want to throw the pens machine out the window and um, write angry letters to the manufacturers and, uh, you know, shake my fist and, uh, at, at people and tell them to get off my lawn and all that. But overall, I'm in good spirits. But I just, you know, in case something happens where I just, I get immediate kidney failure and I just drop dead, I just want people to know uh, a few things. And that is, first of all, all things considered, I've had a pretty good life. Um, a lot of challenges, unfair challenges in my opinion, discrimination and stuff like that. Uh, limited opportunities, both, you know, physically and existentially. Uh, but I've also, I've had a lot of love. And I've had a lot of help. I've had good times, you know, and I had had a relationship for um, just a little bit over two years, something that I never thought could happen. You know, I had the happiest phase of my life in my in my late 30s. Um, I had a good childhood, even though it was challenged in some ways too. Um, previous to the last two years, my probably my, my best time period was maybe 86 to 96 because I turned three in 86 and I can, I can remember back that far. I can remember when it was 1986 and how, Oh, like that's, I was sitting there. I think it was fucking PBS on, in my little kid's chair up close to the TV watching. I think it was the, on the PBS channel. And this is something like copyright 1986. And I was like, Oh, that's this year. So I was conscious of what year it was going back to 86 and can, can remember things back that far. Uh, so 86 to 96 uh, were, were, you know, um, came from the classic uh, broken home and a, and a bit of family troubles and a lot of surgeries and some air, air infections and sickness. But um, that, that was a really happy period for me overall. I had a great childhood um, in spite of its challenges when I was the most, most happy. And then things sort of turned dark in 97. I started to have you know, mental health problems, um, suicidal depression that um, has definitely lifted over the years, but maybe never completely like left me forever, you know. Um, but I, I don't feel that way now. I don't feel suicidal. I want to live. I, I want another 40 years. I've got a lot of projects to do. Many, many things um, that are in the works, you know, getting my film to the universities and hopefully onto TV and you know, I'm doing three to four, 45 minute, you know, stand up and poetry shows brand new every year, right? So I'm, I'm like doing like four albums a year, if you want to count it that way, even though the recordings either have not worked out or, uh, to being recorded or turned out to being like audible, but we're trying, we're trying here, folks. And, um, you know, so had a lot on the go and I, I still do want to write a book someday uh, and you know like lots of friends still unfortunately um, some more moved away and some more got sick and you know so so I, I kind of went through another loss of friends just recently just just to, like not that I'm not your friends anymore but just the circumstances are such that we we can't spend uh, Time together in the same way, right? So, so that's been sort of thing. Well, but not everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm still doing great on friendship plans for sure. And uh, you know, I get, I got some really good tight family connections, and I'm, I'm happy with those. And I, my life is kind of dedicated to study. I, I have so many interests and hobbies. I was with them. Um, uh, Chris Snook and Barb Swanson one time, she figured out something about what card I was in the tarot deck, and it, it turned out to be the Hierophant. It's something to do with 11, um, being a number, born, being born on the 8th month and the 30th day or something like that. So, but anyway, so the Hierophant is the great preserver of uh, culture, and as it turned out, you know, I, I'm a tremendous lover of uh, music and, 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 and films and books and television and um, have, you know, in, spent the last 10 years like refurnishing 
my home with like sort of antique style stuff all from GG or marketplace i have like two extra bucks you know it's gone to that and um i'm now going through like a movie book that has everything listed from or sorry many things listed from 1894 till 2000 and every time they they mention a movie i write it down and i've, I've just now been reaching uh watching movies from the 1890s i, I posted a advance i think from like 1894 or five uh Kind of a provocative little dance from back in those days uh and you know i've been trying all the cures that the nslc has to offer over, over the last few years not at once i'm not that much of a raging alcoholic maybe that's why your pee is bad because you're drinking now uh, i spend plenty of time not drinking too and there's no change gave up coca-cola and there's no change uh so it ain't that um what else do i do yeah i watch a lot of shows and uh the refurnishing and all that. Um, spending time with friends when I can, you know, um, going to the cafe, reading, you know, I read two books at a time. So I've gotten really good at making the most of my time. That is something that probably never would have happened if I hadn't got my sleep disorder treated because as much as I complain, but the urinary stuff, the sleep stuff is way worse because even with the urinary stuff, this functional body being in pain, my mind can still work. I still get full use of my my mind and my mental capacities with, with the extreme sleep deprivation I suffered. I did not have that. That, of course, eventually led down to my breakdown in psychosis where, um, you know, I basically like had a schizophrenic episode for like four months. It's the kind of thing that happens to other people until it happens to you. But thankfully, with sleep being treated, and I, I do take medication for that, and by and large, it works great. Uh, you know, so these past four years have been really, really key for me in terms of, you know, mentally being on top of my game, doing doing my best work, and being able to be, even though I can't be out and about in the world, and, you know, do the things I like to do. I'm. I hate to say I'm, I'm tremendously jealous of you folks that get to travel around. Uh, I'm very critical of those, so I, I wonder if, you know, even if I were to go all these places, I'd be, oh, geez, you know, maybe that's not all cracked up it's cracked up to be, or, you know, uh, oh, fuck, I'd love to go to New York, but Jesus, too many people there, you know. I, I, I think about that, you know, even without my difficulties, I'm still a very retiring personality, and I'm, I'm very, very sensitive Um Meaning that I'm just aware, so I I can like I can pick up, and if you know somebody has a very overwhelming um, kind of personality that like doesn't jive with mine, it, it and uh, they may mean absolutely no harm at all. They're just being themselves, but I, I feel it's a great assault on my nervous system. So I'm the type of person that needs a lot of peace and quiet, you know, even if it weren't for my uh, urinary woes, but I but I would be, you know, doing things like, you know, going out in the forest and uh, camping and, you know, long walks like I used to. I, man, I was in some shape and I still am, you know, from my level of CP. I take the long way to the cafe every day um, and, you know, I started peeing there, so that helps so that I'm not like so rushed home and, and, and further damaged by my one little loading a day. And thank you to those guys for just being patient with me in there. Um, sometimes in the last few days, I've had to like go in twice because the fucking thing cuts off on me right in there. Um, so that's how she goes. Uh, sorry that this is meandering. My, my thoughts are all over the place, I suppose. Um, so I guess... Yeah, just to sum it up, if, like, if I die in the next while, like, I'll be disappointed. I'm not ready yet, you know, but all things considered, I had a good go. I did the best I could. I had a lot of, a lot of help and a lot of good times, you know, a lot of good times. And even though I haven't had success that I, I wanted, uh, I have accomplished most of my professional goals now not all of them you know the big thing is to still still do that book and i, I would um like to do more podcasts and you know 
hopefully continue to write more, more stand-up and poems and do more shows. There will be no more films unless somebody wants to, you know, give me a dump truck of money. Um, you know, then, then maybe I'll, uh, see my way around to doing another film. But, uh, that was, that was the one that had to get done and it had to be a film and I'm, I'm glad it was and I'm better for it. You know, obviously thank you to everybody who, who helped me make that happen. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the only one there's going to be unless something happens. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, a million dollars. Yeah, I'll do it. Buy me a house. I'll make a film. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, things, things have been good, uh, except for this health stuff. Right. And, and I did the, like I said, I did the best I could. Um, and I hope there are many more years to enjoy. And, uh, so I guess like, fuck, given that we've only got such a limited time, do something that's important to you, right? Make it count. And, uh, like, if you don't know what that is, so, like, you know, I've just always been kind of going through the motions or whatever, never felt particularly inspired. Look, take some time, like, take up a hobby. And you know what? Like, if that hobby doesn't work, if it's not fun for you or whatever, it sucks, like, move on to something else. Just try things. And then I think if, one has an attitude of genuine curiosity, um, then you'll eventually find an area that that piques yours and 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 speaks to you. And um, yeah, I guess just live out your time, um, trying to fulfill those passions. Right? Get passionate, and live it, and then and then, right? And yes, there's the whole, you know, if you're like me, still doing, on, doing it on welfare and poor health, um, you know, there's there's frustrations with that. But God damn it, you're a hell of a lot better trying than like just sitting around feeling feeling miserable and not doing nothing. So go for it. Uh, make the best of your time because you don't know how long you have. So let's make it count and, and have a good time of it. Okay, bye for now. Hope I see you again soon.